She went to Barber College almost 50 years ago. Some say becoming the first female barber here in the Valley. Now at the time, little did she realize she was also building a legacy for her sons and grandsons. Here's Rick Diaz with today's Con Mi Gente. When I went to Barber College, they didn't want me there. They want me to become a cosmetologist. But Minga Salinas was determined. She had sons to raise and she okay. wanted to be a barber. I was the first lady barber in the valley, that's what they said, I don't know. <laughs> that was almost 50 years ago, the era of the machismo. Men were men and women did not cut men's hair. When I first started, they didn't trust me. Yeah, but then they, you know, they start talking and and we become good friends. Some have been her customers now for 40 years. She's been so impressive, all but one of her sons is a barber. He's a barber. He was a barber, but he passed. And this is David. And this is the only one that's not a barber. One of her sons works alongside her. 40 years. Wow. Have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And there's also her grandkids and great grandsons. This is my grandson. He has Minga legacy in West Laco. And this is my great grandson. He's going to become a, a barber also. Her shop is Minga's Barbershop in Elsa, but there are four Minga's legacy barbershops around the Mid Valley, operated by her sons and grandsons, and named after her. Treat your customers good and they'll come back. Once in a while, she gets customers with special requests. I got this one not too long ago, and they left it here for the love of luck. I'll send it in. He gets to Rick. I love it. I love my job. Yes. I meet a lot of people. She has no plans on retiring. It keeps her going and it keeps her family close. Minga Salinas, some say the first female barber in the valley and she started a family legacy. Nine red kids that they got here. Nine? Yes. God, God had blessed me with my customers and with my job. For Channel 5 News, I'm Rick Diaz. Okay. Call me,